And from one sports car, we're going to switch to another sports car, but the, in this case, an old one. This uh, was a 1991 race car from Mazda, and we're going to talk to Jeremy Barnes, who is a, a PR um, director for uh, Mazda in the United States, but also is the driver of this car. So we talked to him at the Mazda Laguna Seca Raceway. Well, Jeremy, uh, thank you first uh, for having us here at Mazda the whole weekend uh, at the Concourse de la Gans, but more importantly at the... Uh, races here at, Mont uh, at Mazda Laguna Seca. Thank you. It's absolutely our pleasure to have you here. This is our home away from home. We call it Camp Zoom Zoom. So yeah. the more people we can share this with, the better. Exactly. So this is more or less your headquarters in another way for the company, right? I mean, this is where you really prove what you what you talk about on the cars. Yeah, it really is. We, we don't have a testing facility in North America. We don't have a formal R&D test track. So we actually test street cars up here. This track is really hard on brakes. So we test street cars up here. But what this weekend is all about is, is, is kind of showing the, the pure passion of what makes Mazda the company that it is. You know, every one of the cars that we have here this weekend, they're, they're crewed by employees. Employees. They're prepped by employees back at the offices. Everyone that's working on the cars this weekend up here is an employee, and then they're all driven by employees. I, I don't know if there's any other car company in the world that can say that. Yeah, so there's a lot behind the Sum Sum uh, mantra of the company, oh, yeah. right? A absolutely. I mean, we, we're not one of those companies that just writes a check and walks away. And I think yeah. that's really, it's a really important distinction because I think the, the passion that you see that we have for the cars here at the track, even these vintage race cars, it is something that comes through in the street cars. You know, when you drive a Mazda 3, you drive a Mazda 6, obviously when you drive an MX-5 Miata. That passion that, that, that comes from what makes us do this on weekends and volunteer our hours, and it takes 20 or 30 hours on each of these cars just to get them ready to come here. Yeah. Um, when you see that passion here, that's what you get when you drive a new car as well. But uh, see, from your reaction when you got out of the car just finishing the race, and like not only you, but everybody has your crew. I mean, everybody was like so happy. Yeah, it's it, there's there's no exhilaration in the world like driving a race car, and to get to drive the car that I'm driving, it's a, a 1991 <clears throat> 1991 RX7. This is the the very car that won the drivers and manufacturers championship in the IMSA GTO class back in '91 with Pete Horsman driving it. When I when I first got hooked on racing, I was a corner worker because I didn't have the money to go yeah. race. And I remember flagging races where that car wow. was racing. And now to be to have the honor of driving that car is such an amazing thrill. I I, I, I just can't tell you how much fun and how honored I am to be allowed to drive yeah, well, it. We're a great story. Let's talk a little bit about the race. Yeah, uh, sure. You um, qualified second to start yep. and finish second, right? Yeah, that's correct. So the way that it works, the qualifying for the main race this afternoon was based on the results of the qualifying race that we had first thing this morning. Um, but yeah, so I finished second in this morning, which started the so put me in second place here. So on the front row, um, we knew Weldon Muncy was next to me in our IMSA GTP car, and we knew that neither of us have the torque of the big V8s that were behind us. So we knew that it, we, we needed to make it a pretty quick start. Um, Weldon got a great jump on the green, and I was able to kind of cut down behind him early yep. to hold the rest of the traffic up behind me the the yellow and white so you car really were working as a team I, I, to an extent i mean i knew what he was going to do his car has maybe another 100 horsepower than mine and it weighs a uh, maybe 100 pounds 150 yeah. pounds less so I, it accelerates much more uh, much much faster than my car does so i knew that if we got both got a good start he would pull away and i could jump in jump down behind him which i did and i was able to hold the traffic behind yeah. and i knew that if he and i were able to put our heads down for a couple of laps that we could pull enough of a gap a lot of those cars behind us have a lot more horsepower than we do but yeah. the mazdas even back in the day our cars were always they were never the most powerful but they were always the most nimble and they were known for m being much better on the tight corners and the tight yeah. courses generally better under brakes so we knew that if we could get away we could work together he would pull far enough away from me that he wasn't going to hold me up and we'd both be able to flow away so from they the were like uh, team orders like in formula one oh, no. <laughs> no, no. there's there's no team orders in masters <laughs> historic racing because let's not forget that we all beat our boss the senior <laughs> vice president of the u.s operations who finished i think he finished in eighth exactly i was so, going to say that i mean no, there no, were no. like no hierarchy or anything no, 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 no. They're just pure racing. Absolutely. There's no client golf at Mazda, has that? No. We, we, everyone does the best they can with what they've got. Well, thank you very much again for uh, the whole experience and uh, for um, having the pleasure to watch you and like all the rest of your team. Because, as I said, I mean, the, the, your reaction getting out of the car and like see the people so happy is like priceless. I That's think. great. Well, thank you so much. It's, it's you, a pleasure Kevin. to have you along and, and, and all your readers and your listeners. Uh, hopefully that they can feel a little bit of a passion about what makes this company so special. Thank you, Jeremy. Good. Thank you.
Y ese fue nuestro show especial de toda la gira que hicimos por California, gracias a DJ Cafa y unos controles que maneja esa consola más rápido que Jeremy Burns, el Mazda. Y no se vayan que cuando regresemos la próxima semana vamos a tener más información, más entrevistas aquí en Auto 060 con Javier Mota. Esto es Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.